Yeah. That's what I think. I yeah, that's what I'm going to say. airspace ni Tubi there, yeah. diba? And uh, he actually leaned forward towards an uh, offensive player. But the point you're making is what Tubi did after that yeah, uh, point there, of contact. Yeah, there was a second motion. So, the way I see it, it'll be Tubi will go to the line for two free throws on the contact. And then there will be a technical free throw awarded to Talk and Text. But I could be wrong. Coach is trying to be calm about the whole thing. But you know one thing though, Seb, this game is being played at a high intensity level. There's so much at stake oh, here. Absolutely. As I said, it's not just a do or die for Hinebra. I think it's a do or die for Talk and Text. They lose this one, chances are they'll lose the next game. And well, everybody's sorting out everything. Uh, let's check out our KFC delivery assist of the quarter. Best way to enjoy the PDA is with finger looking food. 887-8888 is the number to remember, to recall, to dial. Though you don't dial anymore nowadays. You just press the numbers. It's <laughs> not <laughs> dial 887. There's Ramil Cruz, Ricky Santos, uh, of our technical committee. And uh, let's... Uh, dead. Let's listen to the announcement. Oh, Rani Dell. Rani Dell is called for the flagrant too. I am surprised. And so is Chatreus. And Rani Dell is ejected. That means a one-game suspension. Automatic for him. That's a flagrant too. And he's out. Uh, well, let, let's look at that again. So it looks like the referees might have seen something we didn't. Looks like he might have extended his arm to hit Tubit. And Chuck Reyes is oh. telling his team. Wait a minute. To get out of the play. It looks like Talking Tex is walking out. This is unbelievable. Talking Tex is walking out. I can't believe this. This is going to be a major development. No, no, this can't be. This Mr. Pangilinan is also moving out. I cannot believe this. Now this is a major development because this will cause at least a 500,000 peso fine. Uh, which recalls Hinebra against Shell in the 90s. And, and this game is far from over. And with a minute to go, what has happened ladies and gentlemen, the talking text en mass has moved out of the playing court. Well, you know, personally, I thought that shouldn't be a flagrant too, but maybe the referee saw something we didn't. Maybe there was an extended elbow, and it, and that elbow of Ronnie Dell hit Ronald Tubit above the neck area, which is really the measuring stick of whether a flagrant two should be called. You watch it here. Here's Tubit coming up. Now, let's see. Was there a... Tinamaan sa mukha si 2-bit. There was a second motion on the part of 2-bit. I don't know. Let's watch it again. I don't know. Across the face. Oh, okay. There was an elbow. Elbow by Rani Del Del Campo that hit 2-bit on the face. And you see, he did not have defensive position because he leaned towards the offensive player. So, I stand corrected. The referee saw it. Saw it clearly. That's why they called the flavor 2. There was an extended elbow, hit Tubit on the face. Anytime you get hit above the neck area by an elbow or a punch, that's going to be an automatic flagrant too. Now the question is as to whether that's it or will Talking Text come out again to play. In the meantime, Barangay Hinebra has decided let's warm up. Now we saw the disparity in free throws. And... In that situation, again, there would, there would be more free throws awarded to uh, Barangay Nebra. I thought, by the way, that this should have been a technical foul on uh, Tubin for second motion. But, th you know, that wasn't called. And we're looking at the talk and text locker room, which is now closed. And this is uh, in the locker room area of the Coliseum. Commissioner Sunny Barrios, of course, will have to make some decisions here. And Commissioner Barrios is still settled in his seat. The precedent I remember really is the 90s. When right. uh, Hinembra walked out in a game against Shell yes. in the uh, finals. I'm sure you, I'm going to press you so that it comes out. Huh? 
And in the meantime, uh, Hedebra will wait as to how this will turn out, of course. They're ahead, 27-20. We're only in the first period of play. You know, I also thought, recapping what has happened here so far, the talking text started off flat because they started with a different starting unit. Without Alapag. That's right, without Alapag. And, you know, they, they paid a price for that. They, they stayed with Jason Castro playing point guard. We did mention that, you know, Castro has not been used to playing that point guard position. He's more comfortable playing alongside Jimmy Alapag. In the, but, in the meantime, we're inside the dugout. And we have our camera there as um, you can sense the frustration. But let's see, Mr. Manny Pangilinan, of course, their top honcho is there. Mr. Vargas is there also. Well, some uh, big decisions will have to be made here. Uh, the biggest fine, of course, in that same uh, vein, Kinito, as you mentioned, was 500,000, if you remember. That's right. But uh, I don't know how much time talking text is going to be given by the PBA That's a to good reconsider. Point. That's a good point. Because, you know, you can't wait for an hour. I think you're only given a certain period of time within which you're supposed to return. You watch it right here again. You see the elbow. There you go. That elbow that hit Tubit on the face. And that was the cause for the flagrant two call. And then that second motion of Tubit, I think that should have been called a technical against Tubit. And let's, uh, we're recapping and going through the action. I think Chot looks like he was asking for permission. If they could move out, then um, got a nod as to who he was talking to. Not very clear from the video. In the meantime, they move out as one unit. Our director, Rafi Romano, uh, updating us uh, with all our video highlights of the incident. You know, although Talking Tech started out flat, I mean... This game is far from over. We're just in the first quarter. Interesting situation that the commissioner, Romy Guevara, there is there. Looks like the time is running down now. Yes. And once that clock reaches zero, it's over. That means Stockton Texas lost by default. That's the clock. You quick eye, Kinito. That uh, you spotted the clock tick away and all the. Uh, Important officials of the company of uh, and there, there, there's the first warning for delaying the game but they're moving out it looks like they're not going to resume playing now I don't know what this means is this gonna mean just a loss in this game meaning to say let's play again on Sunday, Sunday or will Sunday. this mean for feature of the series I don't know and John Chico. But you know, teams have come back from 18 points down. I mean, Talking Tex came down from 18 points down in game number two, and they won that game. There's Willie Marshall, uh, our media bureau chief, updating, I guess, the commissioner on the situation. And I think the commissioner has no other request but to uh, go over there to find out for himself what's happening. In the meantime, uh, Kinito and I will take a break and we'll uh, sort things out from our end here at the Big Dome. Oh, this is unbelievable. 
walk out. <laughs> Tanda rin na siya. Tambak. Ryan and I have two personal pounds apiece. 